the Belt and Road Initiative is uh, President Xi Jinping's major uh, and uniquely Chinese vision of global economic leadership. Uh, it is uh, it is a bilateral program in which uh, countries partner with China to receive uh, financial support for primarily infrastructure projects that will, that will help link their economies to China and the rest of world trade and, and, world, and world investment. So the building of transportation networks, the building of communication networks, the building of you know, electrical networks, all these things are, going, are desperately important to a country's you know, economic growth and potential, as well as its linkages to the rest of the world. Trade its economic linkages to the rest of the world. So the Belt and Road Project is China's, and it's a uniquely China, Chinese institution. As I said, it's linked to these ancient uh, trading routes, the Silk Silk Road, um, and it is. There's nothing like it in the current international economic order. Um, so you know, you may have heard about other Chinese initiatives that are more tied into the current order. For example, the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank is modeled on the World Bank. This is the AIIB, another major Chinese initiative. But it is very much uh, structured along the lines of, of, of the current development uh, bank, the World Bank. And um, it has a multilateral structure. So other countries have um, say over the policies based on their positions in the world economy. And, uh, and so it's, you know, it's not as unique. We, we like the Belt and Road Initiative and in fact, we derive our measure of this latent concept, support for China's global economic leadership, from the Belt and Road. Um, they, the, right after the um, uh, election of Donald Trump, and in fact, just three days before uh, Donald Trump assumed the presidency in January 2017, uh, Xi Jinping uh, made a keynote speech at the Davos World Economic Forum in which he announced a Belt and Road uh, Initiative cooperation forum, uh, a gathering of world leaders to be held in Beijing in May of 2017, an invitation open to all leaders of the world. Um, and we, we derive our measure of support for China from leader attendance. Uh, 29 leaders, uh, prime ministers and presidents attended the Belt and Road uh, Forum in Beijing in May. 2017, another uh, 50, 59 uh, cabinet ministers, so high officials within governments attended. And we, uh, we think that's a good measure of support for China's global economic leadership for a number of reasons, right? It's marking this transition where President Trump has announced America first and a general withdrawal from leadership. And China, under Xi Jinping, sees this as an opportunity to validate Chinese global economic leadership. And this forum is this moment in time, not unlike the Bretton Woods Forum, the Bretton Woods Conference in 1944, marking uh, the transition of leaders. And, um, and so we, we, we use that as a basis for gauging foreign support for China's leadership. When leaders attend, when cabinet ministers attend, we weight cabinet ministers lower than a head of state attending uh, as in terms of the signal it sends about support for China's leadership. But uh, we, we think it's a, it's a reasonably good proxy for this latent concept of support for China. You know, statements alone um, in the language of game theory can be cheap talk. Attending the forum uh, has, imposes costs, not just opportunity costs, they could be doing something else, but potential political costs, right, being, um, uh, attending a forum in which um, countries, leaders, countries, uh, leaders of countries that had sort of bad human rights records, uh, Vladimir Putin attended, Duterte from the Philippines, being seen on stage, uh, photo ops with with dictators and strongmen, imposed costs on leaders. Yet, you know, um, uh, uh, 29 heads of states did attend, uh, and and another uh, 59 uh, cabinet ministers. So we think that those costs and being a behavioral action, not just talk, uh, provide a good, um, a good, reasonable, let's say, proxy for this sort of hard to measure thing, uh, foreign, foreign support for China.